Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about layer set rules inside the Cadence PCB tools. So there may be some examples um, where you may have some nets that you only want to route on certain layers of your PCB um, and we can use the layer set rule to be able to drive that. So if we look at Constraint Manager, so Setup and Constraints, if we go to the uh, Electrical Workbook and then Net Routing and Wiring, um, we obviously see a list of all of our classes, our nets, differential pairs, etc. We can actually drive layer set rules based on this. So if I've got a group of nets, maybe this DDR memory, and what I want to do is I want to be very specific about which layers this is rooted on. So I can effectively select the layer sets cell and it allows me to uh, then define some layer sets. So to create them, define the layer sets button and I need to give it a name. So let's just call this um, DDR underscore Steve and um, we'll click on new. That then adds the layer sets. Then we choose the layers that we want to be able to root, move basically. So I want to uh, I want to enable inner one and inner four are the two layers that this DDR uh, layer set rule is going to remove. So I'm happy with that. I click OK and then I can then move this across to assign the layer set rule to my specific uh, set of net classes. So if I click OK, that layer set rule gets enabled here. If I look under the, the memory, everything's done. Now the yellow cell here is an indication that effectively the, the tools or the nets aren't rooted yet. So let's just go and root some of the nets. So if we go to the standard add connect command and start routing. So if I come out of here, obviously I'm allowed a, a, a fan out via. So let's just drop a fan out via. We'll go to um, the bottom of the, uh, let's go to inner one. You'll see effectively when I use the working land mode, I get this LS as a, as a tool tip. So effectively that gives me the indication that I'm, I'm now working on, a, on that available rule or that layer. So if I come up here, I'll double click again. I can choose other layers, but as soon as I start to click, you'll see, um, let's just drop a via for this uh, fan out via here. I'll get a DRC error. Obviously the DRC error is indicating layer set group. This is this is not a allowable layer. So if I go to constraint manager, you'll see that I get a red indication that I'm not meeting the constraint. So I can effectively just, let's, uh, let's just use some of the, uh, let's go into itch edit mode and we'll hover over the C line and do a right mouse button, change the layer. One of the allowable layers was in a four. The DRC disappears. If we go back to Constraint Manager now, you'll see effectively I get green and I'm good to go. So I'm allowed to use things like um, a stub length. The stub length would allow me to um, use the fan out via on the top and the bottom. So stuff like this isn't gonna cause me a DRC error. 